Hello! So for today's activity we're going to do a colour scavenger hunt. So the purpose of this activity is to get you moving around, to get you outside, to get you looking around inside and to learn um, or practice matching colours that you see on paper to colours of objects around the house. So all you are going to need for this activity is um, one printout here. So there is a link there. If you don't have a way to print out, what you can do is just get some felt, some coloured pens and colour little patches on a piece of paper or even, um, you know, write the words down, get an adult to write the words down for you and tell you what colours we are looking for at the time. So once, um, the first thing we're going to do is find all the items. Right, which one should we look for first? Which colour? Something that's purple. Yeah. Okay, let's go and find something that's purple. Did you find that's purple? My cape. Your cape. Shall we put the purple cape on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Put the purple cape on around your shoulders. There yeah. we go. Right, which one did you find here? Which one does this go with? Show me on the paper. What color is this one? Pink. Pink. And it's a pink fluffy dog. dog. Uh-oh. So remembering there are three different levels for this activity. One can be just looking at the colors on the page and feeding in the name of the color. So we might say to the child, this color is purple or purple, pink, green, blue, etc. Um, another level is that we can get them to identify the color when we say the word. So I might say pink and encourage them to point to the pink color. Once we've done that one, we can go and find the item. So that's what we've just done. And then um, once you've found the items, you can actually get them all together and have a bit of a, a language session. So have a think, look at the items that you have found, make sure that your child knows what those items are called. So for example, basket. This item is called a basket. Then I might think about what is a basket used for? So talking about what we might use a basket for. So a basket holds items where might we find it uh, sometimes we use a basket like this at the supermarket um what might go in it we might put our food and our vegetables in it at home we might use it to put our pegs in so talking about what an item is used for the function of an item and um how could we describe it so i might feed in some words around this one talk about it being plastic maybe the shapes that i can see a rectangle maybe counting the little squares. So lots of different ways that I can talk and feed a language around that item. Another one, our pink fluffy dog. I might use a, a toy like this and talk about the different parts that I see on a dog. So ears, where are your ears? Here's my ears, what do I do with my ears? I use my ears to listen. And looking at our eyes, our nose, our mouth, or the, do the dog's eyes, nose and mouth matching to our own body parts, counting legs that a dog has, and maybe comparing to our own animals. So if we have a pet cat at home or a pet dog at home, making connections between the toy that we found and our own pets. So lots and lots of different things that we can do with a color, color scavenger hunt. Um, finally, you might wanna think about brainstorming other items that match that color. So we might think, um, here we go, red, and we found a red basket. What are some other items we can find? And when you do this with your child, you're extending beyond what they can actually see. So you're thinking about things that might be um, that might be red. So getting them to push that, maybe an apple, a tomato, thinking about the different um, felts, pens, um, toothbrush that they might be able to find that could also be Red. So have a go at the colour scavenger hunt. Lots and lots of things that you can do with that today. Have fun!